getting out of the city and into the wild. It's too empty out here. No sound but the birds and the wind in the grass. Never fear, Erke. We'll soon be home. Back to the racket and stink of the tanner's yard. Erke, Stowe, ready to attack. I have reservations. Sparrowheart has reservations. Though Mercia wars often with Wessex, these people are Christians. Perhaps I can talk to them, to avert more bloodshed. You know the people of this isle better than I, Stowe. I trust you. Thank you, Eivor. I will do what I can. Brave soldiers, my name is Stowe, Reeve of London, and this Dane at my side is Reeve Erke. He is my partner in London. Together we see that justice is done. But more, he is my friend. In London we live in harmony with the Danes. So could you. But your king does not share our philosophy. Alfred bleeds his land dry. Works you all to the bone for a needless war. Now he wants you to die for it. So I beg you, in God's name, walk away from this camp. I will find you new and worthy employment in London. You are good men, and true. I would not want this day to be your last. This one's right. The Danes are here to stay, like it or not. What good's dying now? Don't be a lackwit. Soon as you drop your swords, they'll murder us. That's no heathen talking, he's a Saxon. I, for one, believe him. Come on, lads. It's a new life in London for us. Better that than dying here in the mud. We'll deal with you traitors later. The rest of you, attack! Brave try, friend. But now we do things my way. When words fail, iron speaks loudest. <laughs> about destroying Fulke's supplies.
feels stronger already.